Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. On my channel, I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. I upload every single Sunday, so I would love it if you subscribe so that you can get notified for new videos. And don't forget to comment so then I can get to know you. Today is the beginning of my update for my Real Mess Real Decluttering series. And we're starting in the kitchen. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then head up to the link to my series from about two and a half years ago where I changed our house from an absolute pit full of junk to a nice tidy like normal house. It wasn't minimalist, it's not over the top, it's real, real life. It has been two and a half years and we are a real family. I have three kids. We have people buying gifts for Christmas and presents for birthdays and we have accumulated stuff in the last two and a half years. Our house has not remained like show home perfect in all of that time, surprise, surprise. So we're starting in the kitchen I'm gonna do like 15 minutes, half an hour each day this week. So I'll be changing outfits uh, as the days go along. If you're wondering like a minute ago, she was wearing something else. And I'm gonna show you step by step like what I'm doing, what needs doing and how I'm doing it so that it will inspire you to have your own decluttering journey. Today, I want to start with my food cupboard. Okay, this is a food cupboard. It is really small as it is. So it's not like a full on larder, which I do wish we had, cause you know, you need places to store your food. Um, so this is all we have. But as you can see, it's so cluttered and it's probably got expired things in it and all sorts that it's spilling onto the top of our microwave as well. So I want to spend today's 15 minutes, half an hour, making this organized and clearing the top of my microwave. I don't want stuff stored outside of cupboards. So, that is today's job. <gasps> we have so much stuff in. I just started decluttering and realized I wasn't filming it. So apologies, you've missed a bit, but I showed you on top of my cupboards, did I? I can't even remember. On top of my cupboards, there was all loads of stuff. So if you look now, the empty, this is some of the stuff. So we had, well, I actually had three lunch boxes. Don't need three, I'm just gonna keep one for when William goes um, to nursery and uh, school. So two of them can go to charity. Old Cornets, I don't even know how long they've been up there. They're probably really stale. And a cake storage box. I don't need to store them in a huge box. I don't transport cakes anywhere. Um, and then the other thing that was up there was these, which I haven't decided what to do. I've done a poll on Instagram to see what people think, but basically I've got two dishes that we serve vegetables and potatoes in um, at Christmas. That's it. We don't use them any other time. Do I keep them? Do I get rid of them? I don't know. They were a gift on our wedding. Um, they're lovely. They're expensive. It's, you know, proper china but we're gonna use them once a year. It's a hard one. Then the other things that were up there were these trays, which I do wanna keep, because sometimes, once in a blue moon, he does make me breakfast in bed. So I don't know. Um, I don't know where to keep them. I'm, I'm gonna have to see if I can make space. If I can make space, then I'll keep them. If I can't, they're gone. Then I've moved on to, and this is where I realized, oh my God, I'm not filming, uh, the glasses cupboard, which this is all that's staying. What I've got rid of, are uh, so this that one's staying these these three are still gonna stay but I've, I've been doing experiments to see how much they all hold they all hold the same amount of water so these i have 12 of these matching nice glasses so i'm going to keep those and i'm getting rid of 
bajillions of these. I think, what have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17 McDonald's glasses. You know the ones you get free? 16 McDonald's glasses that are going. And then just some randomers as well. Just some random ones that we don't use. I'm sure there were more than that, but no, 16. Um, and that's where I've got up to. So that's that. They're the glasses we're going to keep. So we've got like pint glasses. And then we've got these ones that are just, if you don't need a whole pint glass, you just want a small drink. Um, and then what I'm going to do is this is wine glasses and mugs and I'm gonna there you go wine glasses and mugs which I have decluttered there's not many of those so I'm gonna put them in this cupboard which will free up this cupboard to put baking things which will free up my baking cupboard for these things up here which are uh slow cooker and pressure cooker so I'm going to be moving things around so I'm gonna move the glasses and the mugs over to the other cupboard and then I'll embark on the baking cupboard. So this cupboard hasn't been touched really in two and a half years. So I am going to pull everything out and check what's in date and then see what can go up in the other cupboard. have a few things left over on the floor um, that I've shoved in the original baking cupboard because it isn't any time to go and get the children. My time is up. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do. I've gone from a full width cupboard to a half cupboard. Obviously, I need to use up some of those products um, because I have excess flour that I just must have bought more flour thinking I needed it and I didn't because I already had two packets. So I just need to get through that and that will reduce. But then there's just some other bits as mobs as well. But I don't want to just get rid of it for the sake of getting rid of it. So I might have to use part of the original baking cupboard for now um, until I can use up some of the things. I also have some mess I'm going to show you because I know you like to see the mess that's been, you know, stuff that's going to be got rid of. I'm just going to sort that into actually bin and then there's a couple of bits that can go to charity um but yeah i mean it's a good job i've done a good job so today i'm tackling my cleaning cupboard i'm dreading it um and i know there is so much stuff in here because i don't really use any of it some of it is specialist stuff that i would only use sometimes and some of it is just stuff that I bought thinking it would be a good idea and then I decided I was going to go a bit more eco or I just don't use it because some things are multi-purpose like I so floor is multi-purpose so I've just got a collection of stuff and I need to just be ruthless and just realize I'm never going to use this stuff so I'm going to get it all out take it from there So, actually, 
actually a few of them are empty anyway and then there's a few things that are really very specialist like um this is silver po polish um or suede revive and i'm gonna put them in our porch cupboard because like that's for more like um our tools and stuff live out there and i feel like shoe care is more let's put that with the screwdrivers i don't know why but that's what i feel like it belongs more there than cleaning the house um <laughs> that makes sense in my head i don't know um then there's some other stuff like mold and mildew remover which eventually once that's used up i will just i've got a load of vinegar and um bicarb but for now like there's nothing wrong with this but i'm going to keep it upstairs near the bathroom um so i'll put it in the airing cupboard um, again, this is fly and wasp killer. Um, I'm going to put that with the tools as well. I feel like that's where it should live. Um, and fresh bin powder. I've been looking for this for ages. I can't believe it. It's been in there all the time. Um, and again, that is going to go and live in the porch cupboard because it's near outside. So it needs to be near the bin. Um, so that's fine. And then I found this, a service it deep clean washing machine cleaner. I'm going to use that today. That's very exciting. And also I found a plug hole sanitizer. I'm gonna use that today. That's gonna to get used up today. Um, and then, so what I've done is I've just put the things that I would use, or at least use up, I probably won't replace some of them. Um, I've got some wipes, I've got leather wipes, I've got polish, I've got sanitizer spray, I've got some vinegar in there, and I've got some bicarb in there as well. Some Silit Bang stuff for the bathroom. Um, so that will go in there so I can take it out and move it around the house. And then there's stuff that will just live under the sink, like this dishwasher salt crystals. They'll just live under there and they won't need to go in, in the tub. But actually, that's not too bad. So I'm going to clean the cupboard and put everything back. This cupboard is the cupboard of doom in this kitchen. I don't know what to do because it just gets like this every single time. Like I've tidied it a bazillion times and nothing seems to change. So I have now a solution to this. I'm just gonna tidy it again and see if I can try better this time. Um, what is it? The pressure cooker and stuff. These are cool. like it might stay it might stay tidy I don't know. so the last thing i'm going to do today um because i'm not i don't want to go overboard each day is um just sort through the magnets because i mean i can't get rid of things like handprints and we've got you know thingy letters i'm not saying i want to have it like all pristine and beautiful but i have things like wizard worm i have wizard worm on my fridge i don't want wizard worm on my fridge so I'm gonna have a little audit of the magnets that are on there. Um, see if I can just straighten it up a little bit. have it all finished and my job for today is to do my three drawers along this side and my hob
is my hob. Isn't it just delightful? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off and I'm gonna put them through the dishwasher because I am too lazy to clean them. They'll go in the dishwasher and so will these. Which leaves me with this. And from my cleaning cupboard, things that needed using up, I've got about this much of this left. So I'm gonna use it on this. is done i mean it's not perfect but it's a whole load better than it was i hope you've enjoyed watching please do subscribe so it'll alert you when i upload new videos see you next week bye